What's going on, everybody? It's Dakota here, and I'm back with my second arm day. And first of all, I just want to say I'm sorry that it's been so goddamn long. Um, I don't know. I just I, I got home for summer vacation, and it was old footage, and I just couldn't quite force myself to uh, go back and do it. But screw it. It's coming out now, and here we go. So our first superset is Incline Skull Crushers supersetted with alternate hammer curls. And I personally love the superset because, for me, it's just... It's it's the big one. It's the the heavy one. Although a lot of five sets of twelve take place in my arm workouts because I feel that like that's a really great range in terms of volume and uh, for hypertrophy. But this one for, in particular is like a mix of both skull crushers and dumbbell extensions or just extensions because it's on the incline and I absolutely love it for long head development. And as you can see, I'm supersetting it with alternate hammer curls and I love hammer curls because I feel that. The hammer curl develops the whole arm, I guess, completely. Between those two exercises, your whole arm gets hit in one way or another. Personally, the reason I like to do alternating hammer curls is because I feel that I can focus on it a lot more than I can when I'm seated. And as you can see, I mean, uh, as when I do them together, and as you can see, I'm not swinging a bunch. I'm pausing at the top, I'm pausing at the bottom, making sure to get that full contraction, and I'm not really as worried about the weight as I am about trying to make sure that I feel it in the muscle that I want. And that's your brachioradialis, which is, see your forearm right there, right next to the elbow? That runs up into your bicep, and that's a large piece of your arm that most people neglect. So that's definitely a big reason that I hit hammer curls at least once a week. And that leads us into our second superset, which is one-arm dumbbell extensions superset with spider bar curls. And as I said before, I, this is old footage, but I personally really like to hit a lot of long head exercises or long head oriented exercises because my tricep is not very impressive. It's not very large. It's not very thick. It just It's pretty much lacking in all regards. So for me, the way that I try to develop that thick, strong tricep is I hit a lot of overhead movements and a lot of movements that target that long head of the tricep. And as you can see, that's supersetted with spider bar curls. And these in particular, you really want to not focus on the weight. As you can obviously tell, my arms are not my strength, and I'm doing everything I can to bring them up. And part of that is taking out all the other muscles that usually work when you do things such as curl or like a tricep pushdown. And this exercise in particular really just takes out everything else. It's just strictly bicep. You go all the way down, contract that tricep at the very end, and then come up and pause the top with a maximum contraction there as well. And I just, I literally love these. This is probably one of my favorite exercises in terms of just absolutely destroying my biceps. And that leads us into the next superset, which is tricep machine dips with dumbbell shrugs. And I guess the only thing to really say about machine dips or just dips in general is if you want to hit your triceps, don't worry about going too, too deep. And make sure you get a massive contraction at the bottom while keeping your elbows slightly tucked. If you start to flare your elbows and get that really, I guess, heightened range of motion, you tend to start to orient your chest towards the movement rather than your arms. And I mean, if that's your goal, do it. But particularly in this exercise for me, it wasn't. So I made sure to focus on that contraction and to really hit that, mi not minimal range of motion, but that middle ground, if you will. And that brings us into dumbbell shrugs. And for shrugs, on uh, as far as shrugs on arm day, I lack in like my traps especially as you can probably tell so I really like to throw it in as kind of that alternative muscle group on my arm days so I bang out like five sets of 15 in shrugs really light just work on that contraction at the top I lean my head slightly forward to make sure that I get a bigger squeeze which is something that you guys can all try and some of you guys may be saying like you know why why like the structured videos like this I'm saying about to say screw it I'm about to start uploading vlogs with my daily routines in them have friends record me Fuck it, we're going to take this shit to the next level. So I want you all to really stay tuned and watch what is to come because I'm going to do absolutely everything in my power to make sure that I bring you nothing but the best content. And after this long ass set of shrugs finally finishes, it's going to bring us into our last superset, which is Preacher Machine Curls supersetted with narrow upright rows. And again, it's 12 for the arms and 15 for the traps. But this exercise right here on this particular machine was kind of odd for me. I don't really like it that much, and I would suggest trying to find either a different machine or changing up the form based off of what works best for you. But as you can see, I'm sitting kind of high, 
and I'm leaning forward. And what I'm doing is I'm not really worrying too much about the stretch as I really am about just contracting my bicep as much as possible at the top of the movement. I'm pretty much disregarding anything that's happening at the bottom and I'm just making sure to get that contraction. Because at this point, my arms are toasted. I've already done preacher curls, I mean spider curls, and I've already done hammer curls, and I'm really just trying to get that last little bit of a pump if you can. If, I, if you will. And that brings us right into the narrow upright rows. And some of you may be saying, why not use a bar? Why are you going over to the cables? And for me, I feel that the cables gives you a more constant tension on that muscle as opposed to free weights. And it helps me really focus on getting that contraction at the top and not just letting it fall back down fast. I feel I can control it a lot more and aim for the muscles that I'm trying to hit. And uh, yeah, like I said, guys, I have a lot to come. So stay tuned. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave them below in the comment section. I'm always glad for feedback. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Blasting, you know I wanted, I need it. Don't doubt it, I can't live without it. This is everything I've dreamed of. It's everything I've ever wanted. Never wanted, never wanted. But is it really truly in my plans? Put the guy mix up my blueprints.